Hello lovelies! Welcome back to the channel. I am going to show you today how I did this Dolores look from Beetlejuice Beetlejuice. If you haven't seen it, go out and watch. The scene that introduces Dolores alone is worth seeing the movie for. But yeah, as soon as I saw the movie I was like, I'm doing it. I'm doing that look. And that is what we're doing today, so stay tuned and we'll get started. Okay, so I am just going to quickly do my base as I usually would. People have asked a few times about a foundation routine. There is actually one on my channel, but it is quite outdated, so I might do a proper one at some point. But I can just show you the sort of products I'm using right now. I don't have any like huge loyalties to these, they're just kind of what's working for me at the minute. Every now and again I change it up. But I have the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, the pink one with niacinamide. What brand is this? <laughs> Collection Lasting Perfection Hydrating Serum Concealer in number two porcelain. And then the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer Alabaster. <laughs> I didn't know where the colour was on here. Um, so yeah, these are like generally what I'm using for my base at the minute, but that's not what this video is about. So I will do that quickly and then we'll get into the actual tutorial. I'm not a fan of how this looks stark white on camera, because in the mirror and on my phone right now, because I'm also trying to do TikTok content at the same time, I can't multitask. This is difficult. Like, it looks normal. I look like a normal skin coloured person, but on here it is very, very white and I'm not sure why. Which, like, if that's what you're going for is great, but hmm. Anywho, oh, my powder. This I have been using for a million years is the NYX HD Studio Finishing Powder. It's like a translucent powder. Love this one. I guess, actually, I'll probably take my lip piercings out for this as well. I'm not taking out my Medusa because I can't take it out on my septum because it's a pain in the ass, but I will at least take these out so they don't interfere with the makeup. Okay, and while I'm doing the other makeup, I am going to pump on... Pump on? <laughs> pop on my Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Plumper Gloss, which I'm almost out of, and that's just so that it can, like, work and make my lips a little more plump by the time it's time to do the lipstick and whatnot. So I tend to just put this on, leave it for the duration of the eye makeup and whatnot, and then wipe it off to put on whatever lip product I actually want to use. <laughs> I also get how much of a difference that can make. Okay, I don't know whether to start with the... I'll start with the eye makeup. So her eye makeup itself isn't hugely complicated. It's mostly just sort of like a smudgy, smoky eye that's like a bit sort of like run and distressed. I'm gonna do just a tiny bit of grey first just so I have something to sort of blend the black into. The goal is for this to not be super visible by the time I'm done. Oh, how am I gonna do her eyebrows? <laughs> Forgot people have real eyebrows. There's not like a lot of pictures of her face in good lighting, so it's a little bit of guesswork, but I can't look at pictures of her without getting the Bee Gees stuck in my head, which by the way, just absolutely iconic scene. I won't give any spoilers for the movie, but I'll say there were things about the movie that I loved and things about the movie that I take issue with. And one of the things I take great issue with was that Dolores did not have even nearly enough screen time and I feel like she was such wasted potential, like she could have been so much more and I don't know, I feel like she could have joined the ranks of Lily Monster and Morticia and like, you know, all of the fantastic goth icons, but in the end the whole, like it fell a little flat for me, like she just wasn't really utilized enough, so that was disappointing. Justice for Dolores. Now I'm going to go in black and just really pack it on in the beginning before doing any attempts of blending. And the good thing is this really doesn't have to be perfect because it is quite like smudgy and messy in the movie, so it doesn't need to be amazingly well blended. In fact it's probably better if it is a little messy. I might stop trying to blend it quite as well as I was there. My instinct with makeup is usually to leave the inner corner light, but we're not doing that. We're going all the way around. Yeah, just really gently kind of adding a little bit of messiness below the eye here. I'm going to go in a minute and make it a little more intentionally like I've been crying, but I'm just adding some general smudginess around. Feels so wrong, like intentionally ruining it, but that's the vibe. <laughs> For the sake of trying to make semi-realistic sort of tears, I'm actually just going to put a little bit of water on this brush and get a little bit of Snazaroo face paint, and then just kind of dab a little. 
because I don't want to draw on like super like cartoony drips. I want it to be like, you know, like I've actually smudged my makeup. So I'm attempting right now. <laughs> Good. And I can't see anywhere where they go particularly far beneath her eyes. So I feel like in general... <laughs> I'd like time to wipe off the lips. I feel like I... I feel like I don't have the exact colour I would like for the lips, so I might kind of mix these two, which I don't know if you can get any more. These were Kat Von D Beauty. I've probably had them too long, but waste not, one not. The bottoms actually come off this one. I think this one was called Exorcism, and then this one's Nosferatu, and I'm just going to see if I can make something that suits. So I'm doing a base of the more plummy one, which honestly this on its own would probably be fine, but I want to warm it up just a little. Oh yeah, that's more it. I swear I was looking at my eyeliner brush a minute ago. Oh shit, eyebrows! Oh, this is where I'm gonna ruin it, isn't it? Oh, her eyebrows are very thick for my usual tastes. Mine might be a little more arch than hers, but I'm trying. <laughs> and now I just have to try to do the other one. Somewhat. <laughs> like I said, I think mine are a little too whoop, but like I, I really struggle to... Ah! But I feel like a lot of people watching this probably have their own eyebrows and don't have the same issue. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna get started on the stitches. I've got some red snazzery. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to change my top actually so that I can... Ah! Cool. <laughs> Nothing happened. Everything's fine. Red snazzery. <laughs> I'll use this with, with a little bit of the black as well, just to darken it slightly, but we'll see. Right, I'm actually going to start on the chin one, just to have like a smaller starting point. That might not be the exact placement, but I'm doing my best. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to go in and sort of define that a little more. Okay, okay. For the stitches, I'm, actually, I'm gonna start sort of on the neck ones because I'm gonna do two different methods. The one I'm gonna do on my neck is what I suggest everyone else use for everywhere. The one that I'm gonna do on my face is me being extra and I will not be responsible if anyone injures themselves in the process like I did whenever I first did a test run of this. But more on that shortly. Let me get started on the neck. So I'm gonna go in first with, again, just a black as a base with a fine little brush, and I'm just using the Snazaroo again for that. I can't see a thing under there, but we're doing our best. Oh, this is gonna take a while! <laughs> and hopefully you can see I'm just painting little lines and trying to keep them all somewhat even. They're not all gonna be perfect. <laughs> This is really awkward. I'm as far back as I can see there. And then I do have one here. I'm just trying not to pop a boob out and get YouTube mad at me. <laughs> this is gonna be even more difficult. Okay. Okay, I had a plan for how I was gonna do the silver. It just went wrong because the product I was gonna use is a bit past its prime. So I'm actually just taking a little bit of water and using like the corner of a silver eyeshadow. So I don't wanna mess the whole thing up. Just getting right in the edges and using it like a face paint. So we're about to go back over everything we just did. What fun. If you can get like a silver face paint, this would probably work a whole lot better, but this is also what you can do in a pinch if, like me, you don't have something to hand. Okay, right, and then as I said, for my face, I'm going to do something a little bit different, and I'm actually going to be attaching actual staples to my face, because I like to be extra. I don't think they even did that in the movie. I've had a close look and it looks like hers are just painted on, but I'll be attaching actual staples. I will not be stapling into my face. Please no one take a staple gun to their face and be like, Toxic Tears told me to do it. No. No. <laughs> that is not how I'm doing this. As I say, this is a thing just for me because I did actually cut myself trying to get these staples and um, I don't want anyone else to get hurt, so the other effect works just fine. I am just a little over the top sometimes, so. This is going to take me a thousand years. Can you imagine if I was doing this for like all of it? I would be here all night. <laughs> okay, finally. Mascara. Get a little bit of the mascara 
kind of down in these smudges. Not too much, just a little bit of extra distressing. Okay, let me go sort my hair, change my clothes, and then we'll be back for the finished look. pop you back in a little. This is my finished Dolores look. What do we think? Did I do it okay? Did I hit the mark or do I just look like a bit of a mess? Let me know. Also, please do leave a comment and let me know A, if you're going to be Dolores for at any point during this Halloween season and B, if not, what you are going to be because I'm very excited to see what everyone's costumes are going to be this year. If you enjoyed this or find it helpful, First of all, give the video a thumbs up, very much appreciated. And also, if you could check out my Patreon, the link is in the description, it is completely optional, but so very appreciated and really keeps me and this channel going. If you're new here and you enjoy this, do hit the subscribe button. Also, turn on the bell so you don't miss future videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, lovelies!